It is the Canadian gangster himself, Olivier Aubin Mercier, heading into, into the PFL playoffs OAM. Two fights away from a million bucks in box. What do you like got to be for you right now? The, well, life is pretty brutal. I mean, it, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to fight that, that often in, the, in less than six months. What, like I fought uh, maybe it's going to be three times in four months, I think, or something like this. So it's pretty brutal, but I mean, I'm almost there. It's almost done. So, yeah, I have to keep uh, keep going. And listen, I mean, not just fighting, but I think the, I think the hardest of anybody ever, maybe. I mean, back-to-back -back champions in the regular season, you beat them both. I mean, that's got to give you some confidence. I know it was decisions, but you got wins. That's got to give you some confidence beating two champs in a row, in a row. Yeah, for sure. I think I beat everybody that uh, the most dangerous guy. Anyway, I think I beat the, them. Uh, I think Cutard was really, really dangerous. Uh, Alex Martinez beat him. Uh, so it's uh, no, it's interesting. You know, uh, I don't want to be uh, that guy that like um, uh, is a douchebag. But I, I do feel that I, I just beat the best two guy in the division. Um, so I think there. I should win the all the other fights. Now the the, the I, I I I think the challenge is gonna be different. You know, I think the challenge won't be necessarily in front of me, but more um, with everything that's gonna go uh, around the the fight, the injuries, uh, well, what else? Uh, weight cut, uh, everything. You know, it's it's. I I knew it was going to be really hard to. Uh, to do four fights in six months. Uh, and um, maybe uh, <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am curious because you're right. It's so grueling, the schedule. So so you've got two months between fights. What has your strategy been? Has it been you know, about training and prepping and getting ready? Or has it been more focused on just recovery and resting and, and and having your body in as good a shape good a shape as possible i mean i guess it, it's a balance right figuring out which is the right way to go yeah i think so. it's a balance and uh, i think we we are all athletes so maybe sometimes we push a little bit too much so <laughs> maybe we have to uh, to calm down a little bit but yeah i mean like this training camp was maybe the easiest since the beginning since uh, i mean it's the fucking third fight and uh in the uh, in the uh, four months so yeah it's it's gonna it's a little bit easier but it's still hard mentally because you want to push but you know you cannot push too much uh so yeah it's uh you, you really have to find a good balance well you certainly fought like you said two of the most dangerous most dangerous you've got alex martinez coming up maybe one of the lesser known names i guess probably mm -hmm. in the in the division but what do you think what what have you see, seen in his performances as you said he beat some dangerous guys as well. So, what do you think about him as an as an opponent? I mean, I mean, he's he's really good. You know, uh, Alex and I uh, uh, were training together maybe three, four years ago, and uh, he was coming at TriStar, and we were sparring every day. I was sparring actually. I was sparring him, and I was sparring his dad. So it's uh, it's <laughs> uh, interesting. Like the the guy is a great man, a great family man. Uh, his dad, is, uh, same thing. So it's it's kind of weird to fight someone that I personally uh, consider a friend, uh, but I mean it's the, this is the sport, you know. Sometimes you have to fight some people that you don't necessarily want. Uh, but yeah, I think Alex he show up during fights. Um, I mean, he beat Collard, he beat the uh, Loic last year. Uh, it, he had like a really tight decision uh, against Nathan Schult. Uh so Alex is for real that's that's for sure I think a lot of people maybe underestimate him and I really need not to do that I think it's uh, it could be a really dangerous uh, uh, thing to do for me to uh, to underestimate him uh, it happened in the in the past with me and I paid for that so uh, yeah I have to be really ca careful with Alex so I know you're not really supposed to talk about what happened in the gym, but knowing that you guys sparred together frequently, are you like, like, oh, I got the best of them every single time? Or, you know, is there a mental edge one way or the other because of those training sessions? Well, you know, like I said, I have to be careful. I, I cannot underestimate them. So, uh, I mean, 
And like I said, it happened to me in my first fight in the UFC. Uh, I thought I really had, uh, I was re a lot better than Chad uh, Laprise, and Chad Laprise beat me up in the in the final of the Ultimate Fighter. So uh, I really have to be careful not uh, for that to happen again. So yeah, that's it. I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. I think I just have to be smart. Uh, I don't, I cannot underestimate him. I think he he looked really great in all his uh, past fight and. Uh, uh, he really, really evolved since we uh, we trained together. I wonder too about about this season. I mean, as you go into a semifinal, you know, I think you're saying the right things. I got to be smart. You know, I can't take anything for granted. Are you thinking at all about like self preservation? You know, so that you're good for the finals. You know, making sure making sure the injury, making sure you're fighting safely, so to speak, to make sure that you're okay for the finals. Or can you just? Not let yourself think of think about that all, in, you know, in a cage fight. Uh, I think that this one is different um, since um, we have a bigger break. We have a bigger break for the final, so I think it's three months and a half. But yeah, for sure, last uh, last fight when I I fought Manfu, and I saw he was not really willing to uh, push the action. I was like, I, I won't take any damage for that. I, I know. I know the next fight is going to be like in the... In, the next fight was in a month and a half, which is insane. So I was like, no, I'm just going to like take it easy. You know, I, I won't uh, get uh, too much hurry. I'm going to like, uh, for sure, it's not the best thing for the for the show. But I mean, the goal is to to win the tournament. And uh, I, I was really surprised that uh, Manfu was not uh, as, um, as much aggressive that he was. And I was winning... Uh, the exchange, so uh, I kept the same strategy for the the fifteen minutes. You know, yeah, it's just a smart way to do it. You got to manage the system a little bit. So, mm. uh, uh, you're expecting to get through here. Are you looking on the other side of the bracket at all? I mean, kind of unique in that we're seeing in that we're seeing over there, right, with Anthony Pettis and Stevie Ray. It's kind of weird because we just saw this fight. Mm -hmm. Should we expect to see the same result or did, or did you think it was a little bit fluky or maybe circumstances will change? Who are you expecting to come out of that fight? <sighs> Man, I really, really don't know. I think the last fight, uh, last, uh, uh, yeah, last fight, uh, Pettis won the first round, but we know he he kind of slowed down uh, after the first. So it would, it, it's gonna be interesting. And the most interesting thing is gonna be is the ribs. Uh, I wonder if he didn't hurt his ribs in the the last fight. So, and like I said, it's a month and a half. A punch can break it again. So it's a uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see if he was able to train. And I think yes, Stevie Ray is going to be pumped up. So uh, I think we can never say that uh, Pettis is not in the fight because he always surprised people. But I think Stevie Ray, um, he looked better than he, he would be in the first fight. You know, I think he's going to, I think he's going to be more hungry. Um, I think he's going to be more aggressive. Uh, I think it's going to be more dangerous for Pittis to fight him. I agree, man. I'm 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 very intrigued by these playoff matchups. So they get in the way. It's Friday, August fifth. It'll be on ESPN. The winners will be looking to book themselves in the finals for almost for a um, dollars at the end of the season. I guess last question I have for you, Mister Canadian Gangster yourself. How do you see this fight going? Is this you know is this something something that you know to grind out over 15 minutes is this something you can go in and and finish and put a stamp on it going into the finals what do you, what do you think we see uh, oh man i don't know i don't really think about that i think uh, alex have a really special style so um for sure i i cannot take this fight like i took uh, last fight you know the uh, <laughs> alex uh, alex moved more than uh, manfio let's say that <laughs> <laughs> no question about it. All right, well, we're looking forward to it, man. Uh, I think this is going to be – I think both these semifinal matchups are going to be great, and the PFL season's getting underway and underway. Heading over to Europe for the first time after you guys. I mean, it's a, a lot of exciting stuff going on. So, in the meantime, we'll say best of luck, and uh, uh, we'll see SPN, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Let's hope they come in Canada next year.